So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays and new tax function every Friday. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and look at that, it is pitch black. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between has, we're going to do a tax battle, we're going to see the difference between a has one value, has one filter, is filter or is crossed filter okay so i hope that this video clarifies the difference between them and when you should use which one depending on what you're actually trying to do i'm sorry to do this to you on a friday but it has to be done okay okay guys so i have here the north wind data set that we always use and i'm going to give you afterwards this file for download so you can actually test yourself but what I have done, I have set this up in advance, so you don't need to see me doing this stuff. I have on the customer stable here in the Northwind dataset created four measures. I have one for has one filter, which is basically has one filter on company name, column company name. Remember that is important. Another has one value for customer's company name again, is cross filter company name and is filter company name. And then I have company name on a table and I have put all the measures in there and we are going to see the difference between them and how they behave so they will give you hopefully an idea of when to use one depending on what you're trying to do are you ready this is going to get messy I have a cheat table here but I'm going to post it somewhere so you can follow along also so here's the thing if nothing is faltered at least on the filters available because there always is something filtered in Power BI, believe it or not. But here has one filter. We have just a table, the measures, and you can see has one filter, has one value, is filter and is cross filter shows true for every row on the table and it shows false for the grand total. Why? Well, when I said there was no filter, I meant there was no external filter, but Obviously, the rows on the table are acting as filters, so this line has Alfred's as a filter. That's why it shows true. This line has an Trujillo, Ana Trujillo, Emparedados y Lados as a filter. So that's why it's showing true. But when it comes to the grand totals, then there's no filter applied. There's no external filters, and the grand total has no filter. So that's why it returns false on every measure because there are no filters applied basically so they behave exactly the same when only the filters applied are the ones on the table let's start doing some filtering shall we this is column name this column name is the same column name as this one so i am filtering on the column that these uh, measures are you know checking for so if i pick one company name then you can see that all of the measures give us the exact same results. Why? Again, for the row, there is this Barry Loon snapshot that is giving us the, the filter for the row. So there's just one filter, one filter. So everything is okay. The total is just that particular company name. So if there's just one, true everywhere. Gorgeous. So what is the difference? Okay, let's do it like this. We're going to filter on two company names. And as you can see, things start to change a little bit. So everything returns obviously true for the row. No changes there, but look at the totals. So has one filter now. This total has both company names on the total. Even if you don't see it, they are there. So that's why it's returning false because has one value allows for filtering only one. So if it is one returns true, if it's multiple it returns false and that's why you see false because here there are two and the same is has one value it has it allows only for one value the difference between has one value and has one filter is that has one value allows for direct and indirect filters i'm going to show you don't worry so for now they should be true they should be false now when it comes to use filter now this filter allows for one value or multiple values but they have to be direct filtered directly on the column so 
Here we have multiple values that are filtered directly on company name, so it returns true. Obviously. Now, is cross filter, as you can see, again, for the rows the same thing, and allows for multiple values for direct and indirect filtering, which means that it returns true also. You're following? Sorry to do this to you on a Friday, but it, it is important. Okay. So if a direct filter is applied to your table, if it is one, everything will be true. If it is many, then this will be false because this allows just for one. Now, what happens if now I pick from the same table, column, country, and filter by that? So I'm going to take front. One filter, one filter. Again, on the rows, no problem, it's going to give us uh, true everywhere, but here, even if has one folder allows for one folder, but it has to be directly on the column. So this is going to be false because the filter of this is done by another column, not by company name. So that's why it's returning false. For has one value, it allows for direct or indirect, but it has to be, it allows only for one value, not multiple values. And as you can see, I have multiple values in here. So the total has all these values. That's why it's giving us false. Right? So it has multiple values on an indirect. And it should be one value on an indirect. I hope you're following. Anyhow, so is filter allows for multiple values, but it has to be direct. And this is country. This is an indirect column. The filtering is happening from another column, not the company name column. So this is false. And is cross filter allows for one and many direct or indirect allows for everything. So it gives true always, basically. So now if I pick two, I'm going to get the same results so exactly for the same thing. But look at this. If I go to Ireland, Ireland has just one company name. So I am filtering this on an indirect co column, but it's returning just one value. So suddenly has one value returns true, because that's what we say, right? Has one value allows for one value with direct or indirect filtering. <laughs> so it is, you, you, you have to think about it in, in order to understand how it works. So. Okay, so here's the thing. All of them allow for one value and all of them allow for direct. The difference becomes or starts when you start talking about multiple values and indirect columns. That's when you will start to see things happening. And then you have start to think about am I in a grand total where you might you don't really see the table that is behind used to calculate the grand total. So you might not realize that there's not just one value, there are multiple values and get unexpected results. <laughs> but that's the main differences. I hope this was clear. I, I guess that you will have to watch it a few times. Give it a go, test it, just play with the data. I'm going to download, give you the file on the Kerbala Download Center so you can play with it. It's going to be 192. That's right, it's 192. So hopefully this will make things more clear. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again on Monday as always. If you want to check any other of my Dax Friday's battles, it's going to be, you don't know what I'm pointing at, but you will see there's going to be a new video there in case you want to check more content, okay? I'll see you again on Monday. Take care. Bye.